Good morning everyone. Welcome to Prosto Hub and I'm Dr. Jolsna. So today we are going to discuss the final session of our topic implant loading protocols. I hope everyone has followed the Brennamark's two stage protocol progressive loading and immediate loading concepts in detail. So in this session we'll be discussing about the end fit concept that is the last segment of this topic. So before getting into detail, I request everyone to please do like and share my videos if you are finding them useful. And if you are new to this channel, Prostha Hub, please do subscribe and support me. And if you have any queries, any suggestions, any topics that need to be discussed or any feedback, do comment below this video or you can mail me at this mail ID. So let's start. So what is NFIT concept or the non-functional immediate teeth concept? So this is the immediate loading technique that can be used in partially edentulous patient including single tooth applications. So since the patient most often has enough remaining teeth in contact to function, the transitional restoration is primarily for aesthetics and the implant prosthesis is completely out of occlusion. So the NFIT concept presents a similar approach to the immediate loading technique that we have discussed for completely edentulous patient but with two major exceptions. So let us see them in detail. The NFIT concept was proposed by Mish and we said that there are two major differences or exception from that of immediate loading technique of completely dangerous patient. So the first one is that rather than submerging more than half the implants or instead of placing extra implants, here ideal number of implants are positioned in the ideal location for the final processes. And the second major difference is that the implant supported transitional processes is placed out of all direct opposing occlusal contacts during the bone healing period. So here we fabricate an aesthetic tooth replacement immediately for the patient but with no occlusal contact and here the dentist may also develop the soft tissue condors with the transitional processes during the bone healing process and can evaluate them before making the final restoration. Now let us see the indications of NFIT concept. So partially edentulous patients with centric occlusal contacts and excursions on natural teeth and division D1, D2 and D3 bone in region of implants and those cases where screw shaped implant bodies can be used 4 mm or more in diameter with increased surface area designs in order to decrease the crystal stresses. And the contraindication include patients with parafunctional oral habits for example anterior and lateral tongue thrusting. Coming to the advantages of NFIT concept so in NFIT concept, the patient has a fixed aesthetic tooth replacement soon after the stage 1 surgery and no stage 2 surgery is necessary. So this will eliminate the discomfort for the patient and also decreases the uh, overhead for the doctor. And then implants are splinted here during initial healing and this will provide biomechanical advantage. So this splinting reduces the uh, helps to distribute the stresses as well as the crystal loads. Next, the greatest bite force is only during eating and it is less than 30 psi. So there is no parafunctional forces from occlusion and the countersinking implant below the crystal bone is not required and that also reduces the early crystal bone loss. And here the soft tissue emergence may be developed with the transitional prosthesis and also the uh, interdental papilla are also developed and maintained throughout the healing period. And the soft tissue is mature when the final restoration is fabricated because the tissue has been healing for many months. And if surgical correction is required, the dentist still may perform the correction before the final bone maturation. So these are the advantages of NFIT concept. Next are the disadvantages of NFIT concept. So in this technique, the micro movement of implant is greater and that can cause crystal bone loss or implant failure compared to that of the two stage approach and another disadvantage is that the surgeon does not reflect the tissue at the second stage surgery. So a direct observation of the bone is not possible to evaluate the facial or the lingual bone loss. So the dentist is less likely to reflect the tissue at stage 2 and evaluate the implant crystal bone directly. Next the para function that is from the tongue or any foreign habits may cause trauma and crystal bone loss or the implant failure. And the impression material or acrylic 
there is a chance that it can become trapped under the tissue or between the implant and the crustal bone and finally in cases of uh, too soft bone like d4 or small diameter implants or implant designs with less surface area all these can cause too great crustal stress condors and can cause the bone loss and finally resulting in implant failure now let us see the nfit loading protocol so there are two clinical approaches to the nfit technique that are similar to the fixed processes for the edangelous patient so the first option is to use a surgical or a prosthetic protocol similar to immediate loading with a diagnostic wax up in order to fabricate the provisional restoration so once the implants are inserted the dentist can recondor and reline the acrylic provisional processes to the abutment and a second alternative is to make an implant body impression with the abutment or transfer copings that engage the anti rotational hexagon so let us discuss the second alternative in detail so the steps are first make impression of opposing arch and take the tooth shade and centric bite registration then perform the stage 1 implant surgery remove the fixation screw and insert the ball impression pin and make impression with addition silicon material and here one thing to take care is that make sure no impression material is left under the flap or around the implant so that is a disadvantage as well the acrylic can get um, trapped in between the uh, flap or around the implants and then remove the impression pin and abutment and place the emergence uh, wide emergence permucosal healing cap and then suture it and then the second stage that is 10 to 14 days after stage 1 surgery So here, remove sutures and permucosal healing caps, and insert the two-piece abutment and abutment screw, and counter torque it and tighten to 10d to 13 newton centimeter, and then insert the transitional processes and evaluate the condors and occlusion. So the transitional processes should have a narrow occlusal table, and it should be one to three mm completely out of occlusion, that is in all excursion as well as in centric. then cement the transitional processes with temporary definitive cement and instruct the patient to have soft food and no oral habits such as gum chewing are permitted so these are the protocol of nfit technique so that was about the nfit concept so finally concluding the session implants the primary purpose is to restore function aesthetics bone and soft tissue condors speech and intraoral health and in some cases delayed healing process may cause psychological social speech as well as function problems and here immediate restoration after implant surgery is one of the alternatives the immediate restoration or the teeth in a day's time protocol uh, offers a significant advantages to the patient compared to that of traditional implant placement protocol so here the number of office visits required is minimal and also it eliminates post surgical discomfort and offers instantaneous improvement in speech masticatory function aesthetics and patient's self image but for the success of immediate restoration careful patient screening and selection is required that is we have to check whether there is sufficient quality and quantity of bone in order to ensure the initial fixation and also the patient should follow all post surgical instruction properly so the appropriate patient selection remains critical candidate for this immediate loading protocol so these are my references for the loading protocol topics so thank you all for watching this session please do like and share my videos and if you are new to this channel prostha hub please please do subscribe and support me and if you have any queries any topic that needs to be discussed any feedbacks do comment below this video or you can mail me at this mail id so thank you all once again and we'll meet in our next session with a new topic